It's another time, another Saturday for your weekend Elysia on television. The Independent Television Weekend News Magazine. Your refreshing weekend news magazine. On top cover, respite for patients in the orphan as the federal government sets up committee to review the process of paying resident doctors. Also on the cover page, Isama of Benin, His Excellency, Sir Chief Dr. Gabriel Osawao Ibnadion has continued to receive commendation for his magnanimity and funding the ongoing free medical exercise for residents of Okada Town and other communities. On sports, some events of ongoing National Sports Festival concluded. Good evening. My name is Philip Omo Yupo. The federal government has set up a committee to look into the payment of resident doctors by removing the irregularities encountered in the process. The committee is part of ongoing efforts to resolve the payment dispute between the government and the National Association of Resident Doctors, which led to the ongoing industrial action by the association. Minister of Labor and Employment, Chris Ngige, made this known at the end of a meeting between the representatives of the federal government and National Association of Resident Doctors, which is an addendum to the memorandum of action reached between the parties on 31st March. Dr. Ngige said the meeting agreed to set up the committee after noting that the payment of house officers' salaries experienced some irregularities, as double payments were made to some officers in some centers, while a few have not been paid as of date. They said the five-man committee was given 72 hours from Saturday, 10th April, to produce a valid list of names of house officers to the Integrated Payroll and Personnel Information System through the Federal Ministry of Health. The committee members were drawn from the Federal Ministry of Health, Medical and Dental Council of Nigeria, Integrated Payroll and Personnel Information System, Nigerian Medical Association, National Association of Resident Doctors and Committee of Chief Medical Directors. Over 200 patients treated with several surgeries carried out today are the ongoing free medical exercise by Ibnido University Teaching Hospital, Okada. Beneficiaries expressed appreciation to the sponsor and founder of Ibnido University Teaching Hospital, His Excellency, Sir Chief Dr. Gabriel. Osawa Ignadion for his magnanimity and love for humanity, especially for the downtrodden in the society. Rosalind Eborame tells us more. Nurses and doctors of Ignadion University Teaching Hospital, Okada, were busy attending to patients from Okada community and other neighboring communities to assess free medical treatment sponsored by Sir Chief Dr. Gabriel Sawao Ibnadion, the ASMR of Benin. Addressing the large number of patients, the Chief Medical Director, Professor Godwin Nusaba Zwaye, told them to take advantage of the health insurance scheme of IUTH, which he said will enable them to assess affordable Medicare after the free medical exercise. Get what you they call insurance, community health insurance. Many people still not do them. So we say health insurance. For you to enjoy health insurance, you could pay 1,000 naira every month. And if you pay 1,000 naira every month, you go, you go come here, they go see you. If you get BLSF, you go born free without pain. Now let's say all the basic things like malaria, cough, and everything, they go treat you for that one. But when you reach to do operation or admission or be big thing, <coughs> because you get that card for insurance, you will not pay half the amount where you suppose to pay. According to the hospital's management, over 200 eyeglasses have been given out to patients free of charge, as well as free surgeries for hernia and eye cataract, amongst others, for patients. The free medical treatment of Ibnadion University Teaching Hospital, Okada, which commenced on Wednesday, will end on Sunday, 11th April. Rosalind Evorame reporting. Senate President Ahmed Lawan has advocated for increased funding 
for security agencies to ensure optimum performance to fight the rising insecurity in the country. Senator Lawan made his known while inaugurating a road project in Oweri, Imo State. Rosalind Ewarame has more. The Senate President, while inaugurating the road renamed after a former governor of Imo State, Ivan Ewarame, said procurement of adequate technologies and improved manpower will help to combat crime in the country. While condemning the recent attack on police facilities and the illegal release of inmates at the Nigerian Correctional Service, in Imo State, he said the security agencies need modern technology to host the surge in crime. The National Assembly will continue to make appropriate laws that will increase funding for security agencies. This may be attempts and efforts by the enemies of the people to distract this administration or indeed the government of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Our security agencies need more resources to ensure that we are all protected and life is secured, as well as our property. We will continue to support our security agencies in partnership with the executive arm of government, of course. This is so important because this kind of attitude, this kind of insurrection, Insurgency. Gunmen recently attacked the police command headquarters and the Nigerian Correctional Facility in Imo State, where over 1,800 inmates escaped. Roslyn Ewarame reporting. On election matters, the by election into Isoko North constituency for the Delta State House of Assembly, which was conducted today by the Independent National Electoral Commission has been described as peaceful, except of where there were three and eight that were cancelled due to harassment of INEC officials. As our correspondent Austin Azu, who monitored the exercise, reports that there was late arrival of electoral materials in some polling units. The by-election was to fill the vacant Isoko North constituency seat at the Delta State House of Assembly following the death of Tim Oweferi, a former majority leader of the House a few months ago. INEC has fixed April 10 for the by-election. Details will be brought to you later on. You're watching the Saturday edition of the Weekend News magazine on ITV. We we'll flip over more stories after the break. The stay tuned. <laughs> Friday no enaba no gi upo wa ifonu ka oluku eduzo ane kere ipede ne nyo gi itami egbe ikin egbe ido la la pa no gi ken eduzo ano ko wa ipede se nyo gi iku avaro obo gbeleze ore pel enaba no ka o upo igbinosun ye kero safety oluku e wino ye ewewu no pa se ya ya wewe we ni egbe kere e upo oba osaze o wa ifu sun me nwa e wo kari hooray oduma is 77 happy birthday Happy 77 cheers to our leader for excellence, a political juggernaut, a trailblazer, and an orator of our time, Chief Tom Ikimi. I, Right Honorable Chief Joe Ejongwole, member representing East and West, East and Central, and Igwebe Federal Constituency at those states, on behalf of my family, any good people of my constituency, join an overwhelming array of friends across Nigeria and the world to specially salute Chief Tom Ikimi as he clocks 77 eventful years on this planet Earth. This foremost politician, a former Minister of Foreign Affairs and a part son of the ASAN people, has written his name firmly on the record books of other states, Nigeria, Africa, and the Black World as one of the most courageous defenders of truth, freedom, and democracy. And it is my prayers that God Almighty will grant you many more years to continue to do more for humanity. Signed, Right Honorable Chief Joe Ejongwili, member representing Eastern West, Eastern Central, and Igwebe Federal Constituency, Edo State, Nigeria. Bye. 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 Don't 
worry, dear. I'll take care of it. How do you manage to keep your fabric so white? Wow! And how do you manage to keep your house this clean? I always use Hypo to make our white clothes whiter and to keep our home clean and germ-free. Make your white fabrics whiter and your home free of illness, causing viruses and germs with the disinfecting power of Hypo Bleach. Takes for evil to thrive in the land is for good men to keep silent and do nothing. In Nigeria's political terrain, godfathers are near monsters when it comes to breathing down the neck of godsons. The drama played out so vividly in Edo State in the 2020 gubernatorial elections. It took the rare courage, wisdom, wise counsel, and outspokenness of Honorable Charles Idahosa to hold the erstwhile Edo godfather down in the political battle of Edo 2020, thus changing the direction of Edo politics, thereby restoring sanity and freedom in Edo State. It. The entire saga is detailed in a no-holds-barred narrative in the book, The Fall of the Last Godfather. Grab your copy of The Fall of the Last Godfather by Honorable Charles Idahosa and the video companion of the same title in any leading bookstore near you anywhere in Nigeria. Also available on Amazon.com. For bulk purchase vendors, contact MIL Pictures International, 27A Aguadasi Street, Benin City. Telephone 080-983-68849 and 081 Court believes have enforced the judgment of a high court in Benin, which ruled that the plaintiff in a case, Mr. Isaac Agamonyi, is the rightful owner of a parcel of land measuring approximately 300 feet by 500 feet, lying and situated at a Wotubu community. The report is presented by Ikwamusa Ugiagbe. Enforcing the judgment, the court bailiff sealed off the entire parcel of land by tying ribbons across the property in the said parcel of land in Ewotubo community. The bailiffs said they decided to enforce the judgment following the refusal of some illegal occupants to vacate the land years after judgment was passed in favor of the plaintiff, Mr. Isaac Agamonyi. In compliance with the judgment of court, all right, we came here to take possession, to obey the court order. And that has been done. You can see we have uh, taped the, yeah. the, the land and uh, the houses that are inside have been pasted uh, the order of court on each three, uh, 500 feet by 300 feet. See policemen are with, are with us from Edo State Police Command. If there is an attempt to remove these things, this red ribbon is, is a uh, contact of court and uh, they are liable to uh, uh, contact proceeding. And that could be very fatal. To, to the violators. When the matter started, they, all the court process were served on the defendant. They never come to court. Hearing notice, hearing notice and every other thing were served on there. They refused to come to court. They didn't file anything. And judgment was not delivered to and twelve. Family members advised trespassers to stay away from the said land. The parcel of land belonged to Agedo family, which Agamoyi is in charge. So we went to court when we were called people were selling the land we want that is why we now come in for the execution the land is measuring 300 by 500. agado camp which is now known as agado agado village has boundary with Oko, agisibo then uh, agohiaro we have the same boundary the judgment was given by justice oc idaosa on 2nd december 2011. Ugiagbe reporting some concerned persons have asked the federal state government and other relevant authorities to revive the Ososo Tourist Center in Akokoedo local government area. They said investment in such tourist interests will boost diversification of the economy from petroleum or oil-based. Edonot Bureau Chief McDonald Irunokai completes the story. 
Also, a natural tourist center was a wonder to behold for tourists who used to visit the facility from far and near. Tourist center has since gone moribund, following less privilege in the days of oil boom, which crippled other center of the economy. Speaking on the state of affairs and the situation at the also a tourist center, also so in Akokwedo local government area of Edo the head of also so community, the also so of also so, his royal highness. As a Mombanta said the center was established under the guise of colonial master. He said the facilities were handed over to the community to be managed by the royal palace until previous state government changed the management and gave it to a daughter of the community. The traditional ruler frowned seriously at the change of management. Hospital training center has now been owned by one person. Okay. It's, uh, it's, been, it's owned by the entire community. Okay. And uh, I think at the time we see of, uh, uh, of uh, for sure money, yes, I think it was now passed over I see, to one person, to a lady. And we're not, we're, we are not happy about it. Others expressed grave concern over the poor state of the natural act at Osos Authority Center. They said government should urgently rise up to the challenge and upgrade the facilities. center which i'm also expecting the government also the national at the national level that the federal government to try as much as humanly possible to come here and at least invest much here because tourism can fetch much more revenue so many people from the old bureaucracy from our kokaido from edo state some students too even come here for excursion and other things but the place if you can look around you see how lovely the place is with natural air without air condition and everything and there is a rock there where you climb that place, you see Okene clearly. There's another one behind us, you see Ukwela clearly. To tell you how blessed, how blessed it also is. They also ask the organized private sectors to seize the opportunity to partner with government and exploit the vast investment opportunity in the tourism sector, particularly at the natural endowment existing in Ososo and turning into a world class facility. McDonald Dirunoka reporting. We sincerely apologize for the poor audio quality of the respondents in that report. Moving on, Lagos State Government has further eased restrictions on social gatherings and event centers across the state. This was contained in a press statement signed by Commissioner for Tourism, Arts and Culture, Mrs. Uzamat Akimbile Yusuf, and the Director General Lagos State Safety Commission, Mr. Larry Mojola. The statement said Governor Babajide Samolu, after due consultation, and deliberations with relevant stakeholders and MDAs, including the Lagos State Ministry of Tourism, Arts and Culture, and Lagos State Safety Commission, has approved the further easing of social centers across the state with immediate effect. It said new guidelines for social gatherings and event centers, facilities reopening have been issued. While stating that COVID-19 protocols must be complied with, the statement said any violation of the protocol shall attract fines and penalties in line with the Lagos State Infectious Disease Control Regulations 2020. We take a short break on the Weekend News magazine. Edo Integrity Worldwide, they greet everybody, oh, any society where peace no day. It is hard for them to move forward. Now, true talk say youth now be the future of our society. If we want better future for Edo State, then we all must join hand to make our state peaceful. Time don't reach to stop all the katakata and killing where cultism, kidnapping and arm robbery, they cause for our land. As youth, if you take your hand, destroy our land, where you and our children of tomorrow go stay survive. Make you think calm now. Nothing good they come out of cultism, kidnapping, arm robbery, and other bad things. It they destroy our society. And you way they put hand for this bad thing, fit end for prison, and even lose your life because person not they live in head for house when in they go out. Make we say no to cultism, kidnapping, arm robbery, and other social vices. Make peace and development for their states. Edo states now are own. This message now from Edo Integrity Worldwide, where it stands for a better state for Edo indigenous.
Vacancy, vacancy, vacancy. A reputable restaurant situated in the heart of Benin City is looking for suitably qualified individuals for the following positions. 1. Administrator with a three years experience in the hospitality services must be computer and social media literates. 2. Food and beverage manager with three years and above experience in the restaurant business must be computer and basic maths literates. 3. Junior accountant with three years and above experience must be computer literate. 4. Waiters and waitresses with experience. 5. Kitchen assistant, three years and above experience. Ability to bake and slice will be an added advantage. 6. Bartender with experience. Interested applicants should please forward your handwritten application to Royal China Restaurant, 69 Ihama Road, opposite Vichy Gate Hotel, Benin City. Interview date is Monday, 12th and Tuesday, 13th April, 2021. Time, 8 a.m. to 12 noon. Signed, Management. <laughs> Celebration of life. The families of Omosiro and Okundaye in Ubogo, Via North East Local Government Area, announces the passing on to glory of their mother, grandmother, sister, and auntie, Madame Rosely Maria Gombo Omosiro, aged 73, survived by children, grandchildren, sister, auntie, in laws. Children, Usaro Okoro, Kingsley Okoro, Usamede Akiton, Innocent, Boybe, Omotinya, is a barrier arranged April 15, 2021. ATM, Body Leaves Military Hospital to our residents at Osayan Nato Street, off Opa Eumse Road, Ebo Tumu, Benin City, Lion Estate at St. Venny, 4 p.m. Service of Sun, April 17, 12, Social and Entertainment of Guests at Uyi Grand International Event Center, 2, Ahawa Street, off Christ Apostoly Church of God Mission, Tobak Bolo Street, off Second Cemetery Road, Reception for at Wii Grand International Event Center. Son, Osaro Oko for the family. Home and away restaurant. Total satisfaction and more. Udeo, you do well, oh. Uwese. What to make you they thank me? My husband don't go by generator for that place you they tell us that day, oh. You mean Uyi Technica? Eh, eh. Yes, Uyi Technica. Now so, Uyi Technica is that bonanza don't start. Make everybody fit by their own generator. Now true what be that? Cheap Bonanza price. Now here I take by this 100% copper generator for OG Technica. No be aluminum low, even generator for borehole, and the one way go fit to carry air conditioner. No miss this OG Technica Easter Bonanza. Whether a small generator, big pekins, or mechanical generators, all day for Bonanza price with quality spare parts, including candy machine, pepper mill, and sewing machine. This Easter generator Bonanza is a seller for OG Technica headquarters. 79, 81, and 83. Mission Road for Benin City and all UG Technica branches. This is a quality generator for a roof price. Turning to sports, we are the River State today won silver medal in the first semi finals boxing category at the ongoing National Sports Festival. Other boxers who competed in different male and female categories held at the Oba Kenzoa Cultural Center. Also recorded medals and the super heavyweight 91 plus. Kingsley Uchebu tells us more. 
Outstanding bouts in the Super Heavyweight 91 Plus boxing category were concluded with River State defeating Imo State to win the first silver medal. Edo State lost in the Super Heavyweight 91 Plus category to Enugu State. Zenab Ojo representing Borno State clinched the first silver medal in the 48 kilogram boxing category by defeating Adeola Oyeshiji. Other bouts in the female category scheduled for Saturday were the 51, 54 and 57 kilogram female as well as 49, 52, 56, 6 60, 64 and 69 kilogram male. National President, Referees and Judges Association, Shegun Oshewa, said about 20 gold medals are expected to be won in the different categories in boxing event. The medals will be not less than, according to the weight of the 13 categories that belongs to, not less than 13 medals will be given. And not less than 13 goals will be given also. Some spectators and winners in the different categories of the semi final event are short of victory in the finals. The last festival is what, 2018. I win bronze medal. So this time around, I train for gold. By the day of God, I'm the gold medalist. We still have uh, eight boxers on the cards. In the semi final, so we are good for eight gold medals at most, you know. That's what we are looking for in the Dodge in uh, event. Lagos edged out Edo 38 to 24 points in the male handball category to qualify for the finals, while the winner between Kano State and Borno State will meet Lagos State in the final game. Edo will play in the third place match between the loser between Kano and Borno State. At the time of this report, in the male 15 aside rugby game between Edo and Kano State at Adolo College, Kano was leading by 6 points to 3. In cricket, Lagos defeated Anambra State 96 to 50 points to top Group 1. Qualifier from Group 2, which has Kaduna, Edo and Kwara State, will compete against Lagos State in the finals. Kingsley Uchebu reporting. Meanwhile, as such, today is Saturday, 10th April 2021. Delta State continue to maintain the lead at the top of the medals table of the ongoing Edo 2020 National Sports Festival with 47 gold medals, 37 silver, and 34 bronze with a total of 118 medals. Edo State is placed second with 39 gold, 43 silver, and 39 bronze, a total of 121 medals. Bayesa State is placed in the third position with 27 gold medals, 19 silver, 22 bronze, and a total of 68 medals. River State is on fourth position with 8 gold medals, 10 silver, 20 bronze, and a total of 38 medals. While Lagos occupies the fifth position with 6 gold medals, 9 silver, and 18 bronze. Kano in sixth position. Aqua E medals table is updated daily. We take another short break on the Weekend News magazine. Don't you go away. If not one thing we are need like, now stop on so. Make you no near me or my family. I be you know they here. I will deal with you drastically. I will deal with you protectively. They finish you nutritionally. Because this golden month cereal where we they enjoy for breakfast, it contains iron and vitamin C, where they help boost our immunity day by day. Oh yeah, if you like, come try me. Golden Morn, make every day amazing. Nestle, good food, good life. That will lead you. Hi, this is Latino Show. We have to offer you nothing but high quality products. Come discover a range of designer children's products, like Zara products, Disney products. We have quality shoes. Bags for school children. We also have Nigerian print, towels, and duvets. Please visit us today. Art Plantino Shop. We are dealers in all kinds of children wear and accessories. Back to school accessories, bed sheets. Come for your genuine and foreign items. We are dedicated to ensuring that we provide the product at the affordable prices. Plantino Shop. Shop 6, Block C, Airday Shopping Plaza, 27 Airport Road, GRA, Binan City. Plantino Shop. We provide great quality and value. The need to stop proliferation of small arms and challenges of insecurity in the country was the focus of discussion on the program Politics Today. 
Sharon Ajayi tells us more. The panelist, Edokbolo Ayame Hoy and Idehe Bongoyi, said, Though no nation of the world is free from proliferation of ants, but it's more devastating in developing countries like Nigeria. They said, More worrisome is the fact that some government officials allow ethnic sentiment to affect their decisions. They called on state governors to wake up to their responsibilities and account for their security votes by ensuring the protection of lives and property. President Mohamed Buhari has spoken when he linked the high level of proliferation in Nigeria, particularly, to